Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. And it's time for another video. Today's video, Operation Save Enough Tickets for Space Irish in Two Years. Uh, it's a sequel, technically, to a video I did uh, many years ago, which was Save Enough Tickets for Summer Ibuki in Two Years. This time I'm doing it again, hopefully saving up to or over 300 tickets, because it's going to be from... Today until the day of her banners release, which I have determined I have set a date for because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be it because it's always there and uh, Today's video is gonna be me showing you the specific operations behind it and all the potential tickets that I got it I've worked it all out. It should be possible. So why am I doing this? Well one If you don't know it takes around 300 summons 330 summons to get pity on for go um, so at 300 tickets, or 300 summons, you'll be able to get 330 because you will get a free summon every 10 summons, basically. So that's why it's 330. Um, if you save St. Quartz, that means you need 900 St. Quartz, which is a lot of St. Quartz. But, if you do it with tickets, it's 300 tickets. <laughs> and that's what I realized with Summer Buki. Because in that original video, I was planning to do, maybe if I saved all my St. Uh, Quartz fragments, and the answer was no, I would not get enough if I tried doing it that way. But if I saved with tickets, it was possible. So I've crunched the numbers once again to see if it was possible, and it is 100% possible for me to do it. So I'm going to be saving, once again, in two years' time, enough to get Space Irish in two years. Um, though this time, I'm going to add a slight addendum to it and say, if for whatever reason they decide to release a Summer Quetz or Summer Cuckoo, then I'm allowed to switch over to them, <laughs> if it happens. The only reason I'm making this clause is because when they showed Summer Ibuki, I had no idea that they were about to also show Summer Cuckoo for that year. So, I'm giving myself some leeway on this one. If it happens, it happens. But either way, in that case, I will switch over to the sink warts and I'll start saving. But either way, this is the operation. So, uh, let's go over to the other screen, which should be right here. That's right, I did the Google Doc for it right now. So, Operation Save Enough Tickets for Space Irish in two years. So, let's see where our starting point is now. I currently have 30 tickets. It's actually 27, but I'm going to be doing the Lost Belt 4 stuff, uh, which will give me an additional three tickets. The Fago 9th Anniversary, which is the day of her banner, is likely going to be on July 4th, Saturday, 2026. The reason I say that is because typically our anniversary falls on the same weekend of Anime Expo, and Anime Expo is always the first week of July, and this week it will fall on the 4th of July. So in two years' time, we'll have the most patriotic uh, Fago NA um, anniversary possible because it will actually be during the 4th of July. But that means from today, which uh, I've, uh, this is from, so I've been working on this video for a while, and you can tell when I originally wanted to do it, it was on the 21st, but it's it's now the 23rd. Uh, so from 8-23rd, uh, which is August 23rd, uh, 2024, to um, July 4th, 2026, that is 97 weeks, and every week we get a ticket, and assuming that there's no issues with login or changes, that means I'm going to be getting 97 tickets, and I made sure to start on a specific week when I did this video of when I would actually get that reset, so I'm back to zero, so that means I'm going to get the 97 from here on out. There are 22 months and a week in between this time, that means we're going to get 23 shop resets. The reason is, is because... September will start and then we will get uh, the reason is is that we will go 23 months and then right when we get to July That's hundred and ten and then we get to July and we get the five from the Da Vinci reshop right uh, the reset right there making it be hundred and fifteen So if you kind of uh, Total up all that total it is 30 plus 97 plus 115 that's 242 That's my total but if you were to start this yourself that would be 212 and now, to actually do a look-through and see everything. In 2024, these are where the ticket breakdowns are going to come from. In Gouda Gouda, you'll get one ticket at 1.8 million points in the point ladder for the Road to Lost Belt 7 LB5 Atlantis. You get three tickets from that, as well as Olympus. Halloween has no tickets. I put this down because I was like, surely there had to be tickets. And then it turns out, no, there's no tickets in Halloween. In the Fairy Night Cup, it's around 0 to 7. You must defeat my seven evil exhibition quests if you want to get all seven tickets from them. But I, the reason I put zero to seven is because sometimes, I mean, if you watch any of the videos of me and my brother doing any of the challenge quest stuff, then you know for a fact that we do not get all of the, the stuff there at all. Nowhere, <laughs> nowhere close to it. Next, Thanksgiving. The reason I put down unknown tickets, and from this point on, I don't count Thanksgiving as a possibility for tickets, is because... 
um, there's a discrepancy between them. For usually we got zero tickets during Thanksgiving, um, but one specific year. So we'll learn it this year if this will continue the trend. For this one specific year, we got a single ticket for some reason. I don't know why, but we did. The other thing I'm not taking into account is the back to school campaign. Uh, the reason is is that this is usually St. Quartz, but also it's a little bit. Maybe they give a ticket like this one, like oh yeah, clear this. But I think this was tied to something else, so it doesn't really count for it. I don't know. It's a little bit weird, so I don't count the back to school stuff at all. Um, and we'll go back to the word duck. Um, whoop. I have to be careful. There's so many uh, moving parts here. So yeah, n unknown amount of tickets from Thanksgiving and for the other one. The Road to 7, Lost Belt 6, that's three tickets in there. The Advent Calendar, which is something that is NA exclusive, which is why I put down in big old caps lock, remember, we get five tickets from that. During the Christmas rerun for that year, it's two tickets. So the tickets left that we have for 2024 is either 24 or 17, depending on how many of those challenge quests that you do. Not a bad number. But let's move on to 2025. That will have 15 tickets, the panel plus the extra shop. Sometimes the Vinci shop gives 10 and sometimes it gets five. If it's during anniversary or New Year's, it's oh, it's usually always 10, but if it's during a celebration or a campaign, it's typically reset at five and you'll see that a couple a couple cases up, up ahead. The questionnaire that was around that time, assuming NA gets it again, that's an additional four tickets. The 27, uh, uh, 2,700. 2700 yeah a download celebration i don't know why sometimes these give me so much trouble um uh download celebration will give five tickets valentine's that year for 2025 will also give five tickets and this one will be from ladder the reason i put that down is that sometimes the points ladder will give you like um one uh, two tickets sometimes it gives you three tickets and always on valentine's day it gives you five the Caldeo's uh, Boys Collection will give you seven tickets, and this is the seven tickets on login, and then on the eighth day, you will get a command code. Three tickets from Ladder from the Tales of Caldea Heavy Industries. Arcade Collab, that will give us two tickets, and the, because this will return again, it's two tickets again. And then the Curry Curry uh, Ilias Castle. Oh, man, this is another case of challenge quest type stuff. But let me just show it off, because I was like, the re I was originally going to put down, like, oh, this should be six. It's not actual, like exhibition quest so it should be fine right and then i went and looked at what actually happens in one of these let me see where is this sometime after the arcade collab so it's gonna be around here um yep card curry so i was like oh it shouldn't be that bad right and then i looked at what the challenge quest entails and you have to bring an npc support servant which is going to be Ilya, miyu chloe uh, Fuma or Danzo and that list of dudes was enough for me to go okay zero to six there might be a chance I'm not able to actually do this <laughs> so zero to six six depending on the challenge uh, how if you're actually able to beat the challenge fights and in my case I might not be able to 28 uh, uh, million downloads can be I don't know why I just realized that but yeah it's 28 million why did I do the other number? 27. Imagine the game was going on this long with only 2,700 people downloading the game. It's 28 million. I don't know why I put the extra zeros out there that I look at it. It's because they do. Never mind. Whatever. Five tickets from that, and that comes from uh, the shop reset, the pre-campaign, 8th anniversary. There will be four memorial quests that will give four tickets. There's more memorial quests than that, but at least four of them will give you a ticket. During 8th anniversary, there are 21 tickets, and I broke these down just to be sure because I remember getting really lost during this part. 10 from Login, 10 from Shop, 1 from Ask the Savior. And then for Lost Belt 6 Summer, there are 3 tickets from Mission and Main Quest, meaning there's 2 you get from completing missions, and then 1 that you will get from the Main Quest. It's like one of the random things that you fight in there. Um, you'll get a ticket from that. And the, the only Evocation Festival that gives you a ticket will be this one because it will feature a Fujino Trial Quest. So during the Evocation Festival Part 5, that will show up. During the 3,000 day login, you get one ticket. And then during Grail Front 4, which is uh, 0 to 9 tickets, I put that down for a reason. So there's a long stretch of times where you don't get much tickets except for the logins and stuff. And the reason is because is this one has 9 tickets in it. And the 9 tickets here are all predicated on you completing the grail front i've never had trouble completing the grail front but the reason i put zero to nine is that 
in case you wanted to do the number, you'd have to take that out for yourself. But that's also true for a lot of the grind ones, to be honest. That means that they should also be 0 to 9. So I really should consider the 9, but I guess because it's technically challenging, there's a chance for someone to fail it. But I'll just say right now, I've never failed a, a Grail quest when I actually had the time to do it. I think there's one time I missed a single fight, and it was not because of difficulty. It's because I ran out of time, and I was busy at the time. But for the most part... I can usually get it done and stuff like that. Anyway, back to the world do word doc. Super good. It will give you three from the points rewards. Uh, Advent calendar will give five. Um, again, Christmas event itself is one ticket from Snow Crystals, and that's a total of 100 tickets in 2025. And assuming that you can't beat any of the challenge quest stuff, which is the two things I put out specifically, which was Grailfront 4 and um, the other thing, then you will get... Um, 85 so yeah these are definitely stretched across but 100 tickets for the year is not that bad to be honest with you a lot of it comes from the grail front um i feel like <laughs> getting nine tickets near the end is kind of crazy it's a lot of tickets but anyway uh 2024 and this one i broke down specifically in the say that this is 2026 but it's going to be until anniversary because that's when i i, I in theory will stop so I don't count that past the seven days. So I'm not counting. Anyway, you'll see when I get there. For New Year's, it's similar to last year. 15 tickets, panel, and extra shop reset. Uh, panels plus the uh, shop reset. Uh, the extra shop reset. Not to be confused because there's obviously five from there. I'm not counting it as that. It is from the fact that you get 10 tickets from the shop in DaVinci showing up again. There you go. Again, it's a little bit funky. The Fogo collab from Samurai gives two tickets. The 2026 of Valentine's Day will give you five from the point shot from the points ladder. From the Caldea's Boy Collection, it's seven from Login, similar to last year. But there's nothing in the actual boy event. I guess they figured the Newsies hat was enough to kind of satiate them. I don't know. I guess so. Spring New Master Rewards. This one will give you one ticket for some reason. Witch of the Holy Night uh, Hot Spring Event will give you five tickets from the missions. The Lilum Harlem Rerun will give you two tickets. The Questionnaire, which I put down one ticket. And the reason is because is when I looked at it, it looked like it was only a singular ticket. Like, maybe it's a little bit weird. You'll see what I mean when I show you this one and then I show you the... The one that features Gordoff on the cover. You'll see that there's a difference. And maybe it's a case of this one. See, this looks like only one. This one, four. I don't play JP, so I have to assume that they are the same. And there's, for whatever reason, they decided to just give a single ticket for this one. Which I think, for your time, they should give you more than a single ticket. But that's just me. Anyway. Back to the list. Um... Dancing Dragons will give you three tickets. The Fago Knife Anniversary Countdown will give you five tickets. And then the Fago Knife, similar to the other year, except for this one has one more mission, one more fight that will give you an additional ticket. And then the Fago Knife Anniversary will give you ten tickets. But then if you wait seven days, it's an additional ten tickets. And I could not, for the life of me, figure out if there was a trial quest with Space Irish on it. The reason I assume that there isn't is because the special mechanic that comes with Space Irish you cannot experience from a support. So why would you release a trial quest for a character that does not have a special <laughs> that you cannot actually fully experience? I didn't realize it. Feel free to tell me if you play the JP version of the game, if you actually got it. Because based off of this, it looks like you didn't. Like if I look at the summoning campaign here, go down here to nothing. Other campaigns, I don't think they got one. I should have asked my friend who played it to be 100% real with you. But I didn't think about that. Um, I was too busy trying to actually put into words how to say all the things I wanted to say. <laughs> but anyway, that will reach the end of Space Irish. We will go land this thing in the station and that will be it. So let me actually do the total. Look back at the word doc. So that is for this year 56. And if you count waiting an additional week, that's 66 tickets. But I will not from this point forward. So the final total is 212 plus 24 plus 100 plus 56 we will equal 392 and then for me 422 because i'm adding the 30 that i already have right now so the grand total is 392 tickets in between then and now uh 13 are tied to the challenge quest but if you can't beat those then it goes to 379 and then if you just hate the grill front uh minus time for matt it goes to 370 so i think i have more than enough time and wiggle room based off of my quick maths here 
to have enough for Space Airs into um, two years' time, basically. Which makes it good, and I feel pretty good about saving this amount for them. I don't know if I'm going to be actually able to save all 400 tickets, because even when I reached 300 tickets, which was about, like, mm, three months before the actual banner showed up, I, <laughs> I did start spending tickets again. Um, and I wasn't able to get the full amount for it, but... Maybe this year, with the idea of, like, no, I need to save absolutely everything, maybe I'll get there. And I don't know if I would use all 400. I might, to be honest with, to be honest with you. I, I just might. I might go for it. That would make that video longer than it was for last time, though. So, so we'll see, huh? We'll see. Like I said, I have a specific leeway in there um, to give me an out in case it comes up. And it's specifically... If a summer version of Quetz comes out or of uh, Kukulakan, then I will go crazy for it. The reason I give myself this leeway is because obviously Quetz is my favorite character. Kukulakan. I have to cut this again. I did the same mistake doing the last video. Uh, without getting into spoiler things, they're both characters that I really like. <laughs> it's literally impossible for me not to talk about it and bring up anything without accidentally spoiling anything. But either way, I care about both characters a whole bunch. Um, and the reason I thought that it was possible for a uh, summer version of them to be this year, or not of them, because, first of all, if you don't know this, over on JP, they hate Quetzalcoatl. They don't like my girl, and I'm fine with it. They can have the bad taste that they want. What I'm not okay with is the fact that because she's not as well-liked as uh, I, or not even a, like a tenth of liked as much as I do, it means the summer version of her is nearly impossible. But then, thanks to Lost Belt 7... Tez is one of the most popular male servants on JP right now, and he is the brother of Quetzalcoatl. That is enough <laughs> to hopefully get my dreams there. And if he can't get there, then at least I got my other girl who is tangentially related to <laughs> Quetz in some way uh, because they are uh, Aztec and Mayan god relation and stuff like that. And then also, I saw Tealoc, and so that made me pause. And that's why I also waited a really long time for this video. But it looks like summer this year for them is just the three banners. So it will likely be just Summer Seal, Summer Erish slash Space Erish, and then uh, BB Dubai or Summer BB Dubai. But anyway, that's the operation. That's my current plan. I hopefully, I'm pretty confident that I can get at least 300, which will guarantee her. Which the other thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is that because she's a beast, that makes her a pain in the ass to get. So if I can just easily get her this way, perfect i would love it that way and even if i end up switching my plans to go for cuckoo or summer cuckoo at some point that's still fine because i will then switch over to sync quartz i will guarantee you that i will have them if you don't know uh if you depending on how long you've been following this channel the original Irish kagal um when she came out um on na on the na side of the game it almost it, it's maybe one of the worst videos on my channel. It all, the, the summons went so bad, I almost quit making videos on Fago. It, it was that bad. I loved her that much, and I was not prepared, and I had a shitty day, and then I did my summons, and I didn't even get... I don't think I even got anything that was a featured CE. I got nothing. I got absolutely shit on, and that video ends with me going great, and then the video just ends. <laughs> and I don't think I ever did another summon video until I told my brother to be there with me because I could not stand doing Fago summons alone anymore. It was absolutely terrible. And then we did for Okita Alter and that was and that video is the basic catalyst of me getting back into actually making Fago videos. So there's a lot of like stuff I care about Eric. So of course for her unit I want to guarantee get them. If something comes up where another unit that I also really like shows up in that meantime, I'll deal with it when it happens. We never know what happens with JP. This is why it's, it can be a little bit troubling to actually like make plans and stuff. But anyway, that's my current plan. Um, I'm sharing it again with you. I've also shown the breakdown. You're just going to have to trust me on a lot of those numbers. <laughs> trust me. I did this before. I should be right. And if I'm wrong, someone will tell me now because <laughs> now a lot more people watch my videos and now they will... Um, Gladly correct me if I fucked up somewhere. Uh, I know in... I tried to consult as many things, which is why it's been such a pain in the ass to actually record this video. Because I double-checked absolutely everything to make sure it was right. And in some cases, it just... The math wasn't mathing. Uh, or there, there was someone that said, like, there's only two tickets in this event. And then when I checked, it was three. And I was like, ugh, oh, goddammit. I have to actually look inside here and check for myself. And I did. 
So that's the end of the video, everyone. Uh, if you have any specific summon plans, I also know that some people are actually joining, um, starting to save 300 tickets because they saw me save 300 tickets and I got like MP3 with my summer Ibuki and that worked out pretty well considering I was only ever expecting to get one copy because that's how much you are guaranteed with 300 tickets. Any more of it, it's like icing on the cake, on uh, top of the cake. But if you have any specific uh, save plans, if you're saving up your ticket for something, let me know. Uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting pretty close to the next goal I had um, for the channel. It's almost going to be up to a year now. If you don't know, I want that, the next goal for this is actually around 3,800. It has a very specific like sentimental reason for it, and if we reach it, maybe I'll make a video talking about it because I know not a lot of people will care, but I care about it. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much. And finally, for real this time, I'm not recording it again. I swear to my brother, this is the last time I'm going to be recording this. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.